This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I've been following Marilyn Manson and Evan Rachel Wood and the abuse allegations. And today, somebody sent me some voice recordings of Marilyn Manson who hints upon it. Now, this is from someone's Instagram account, and it's allegedly Marilyn Manson, but it does really sound like him to me, so I actually do believe it's him. Now, he doesn't say anything incriminating. He doesn't admit to it. It doesn't seem like this is a 100% piece of evidence, but it's very interesting. And he does actually claim that she was giving him psychological abuse. Now, I will say the person who posted this is not on his side. The person who posted this is kind of saying that he's lying and he wouldn't let her get a word in and he talks too much and thinks that extent which it does seem to me like he talks over her, he talks a lot, but he also did sound like somebody who was upset after a breakup. So why don't you guys listen to the first clip right now, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah. And it's like in that I'm like in the trap of fucking this witch that just like fucking, like, you know, just pretty much like controlling me and then and this whole thing, like, the fucking garbage, you? Uh, I'll put it, all the garbage talk of that whole thing is, like, so insane because it's like, like, I gave her an engagement ring, yeah. like, fucking, like, eight months before we broke up, and she's like, okay, yeah, it's cool, and then, and then after that, I go to New York, and then make you look thing, and all shit, and then after that, like right. she's like, well, you have to go to North Carolina and ask my dad, like a yeah. proper, like gentleman style, and I'm like, well, yeah, but your dad like fucking like baby. So in that first clip, the one thing I took away from that was that he asked her to marry him, and she wanted him to get her father's permission down in North Carolina, and I just wanted to get an initial reaction of his tone of voice, and the way it felt to me was, yeah, kind of depressed but it didn't seem very angry or aggressive. It seemed somewhat normal, like a friend I'd talked to who had broken up with somebody or reminiscing a breakup, and they seemed regretful about certain things. Now, the second clip's a lot more interesting. The second clip is where he actually denies the abuse against Evan, and he actually says that it's not like she says it was. He also says that he's going through a lot of psychological torment and waking up every morning worrying about what the next thing is going to come out, what the next thing someone's going to say, something to that extent. So here's a second clip. Men, like violence against men, and like men, men, like that, that's a legitimate thing. Yeah. And it's like it's kind of looked over, and I'm not like saying like I'm innocent in anything. Like yeah. being like lived up whatever I'm not supposed to be but I didn't do what she said mm. especially as she admitted it Yeah. and then on top of it it's like she didn't admit it like imagine the psychological abuse that I've gone through every fucking night Yeah. And I can't sleep every I know. night yeah no shit yeah. but I have to fucking take medication to sleep every night yep because every morning I expect to wake up with some damn fucking bullshit. Fucking hell. It isn't true. So I just get yep. over it. And that's what I got for now. It's kind of an initial reaction. I'll dig into this Instagram a little bit more when I get a chance. And for the record, this girl is not on Marilyn Manson's side. She actually, I think, thanks Amber Heard in one of her posts for something. And I'm not sure exactly what. And the thing she wrote about the first clip, I didn't quite get. I didn't quite understand why she wrote it. Let's take a look at that. So here you could see, Marilyn Manson talked to me about being engaged to Evan Rachel Wood, and I can't figure out if he was saying that Evan tried to convince him that his mother effed him, or if he meant his mother says that, but I think he was implying the former. Anyway, he also mentions Jamie Bell and Mickey Rourke here briefly, and talks about his reaction to Evan's statement about the abuse she suffered. So obviously, I didn't play that full clip right there, because like I said, she's got these broken up throughout her Instagram account, and I'll get to them when I can. But I guess judging from her, 
And from what you guys might be thinking, it seems like he's not quite in the right state of mind, but it doesn't seem like really out of it to me. He seems more tired or depressed or something like that. I didn't get the like really fucked up vibe unless he's kind of more of a calm drunk. He obviously wasn't aggressive and angry and yelling or anything like that. So you guys let me know what you think down below. I'm gonna give a shout out to somebody in my comments who sent me this via email and there's a lot here to get into but I wanted to just see you guys initial reaction on basically the atmosphere, the mood, hearing him talk off camera or kind of off the record. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Throughout the week, I'll have more Depp vs. Heard, some more Manson. Having kind of a busy week, so just doing one video a day. But if you subscribe, you'll get that one video. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. <laughs>